Okay. So, this is not going to be a long session because I try to keep my like, I'm gonna try to keep it at like 30 minutes or less. That is the goal here. My volume, I'm trying to test. Okay, but anyway, so the goal 30 minutes or less. Um, so tonight's topic, I did give you guys a little bit of um, a hint to what tonight's topic was going to be about. So we are going to be talking about like deals and specials and like how many deals and specials can you offer before they're no longer considered special so um let me see I'm trying to get my notes together so like one question that i do want to kind of leave you guys um or to kind of lead you guys into the topic with is like as a business owner, how many specials or deals have you offered within the last maybe six months or maybe even three months? And you want to consider like if it has been an appropriate amount of specials um, for the brand of your, I mean, I'm sorry, for the longevity of your brand and um, for your profit. Um. And, you know, you also want to consider, um, let me see, I'm all over the place. My tabs, I've got like a lot of tabs open. But yeah, you also want to consider like if the, um, like if it decreases the value of your services and your products and especially for service-based businesses you want to be careful about um things of that nature or you want to be very cautious um so there are reasons that you should offer specials as well as reasons where that you should hold off on offering specials so um you know one of the main reasons that you would want to offer special if if you're in the position to do more for your audience and basically that's like um things have been going well you want to celebrate a um a checkpoint in your um business operations or um as far as your goals go you want to celebrate a milestone um but you have, like I said, you want to be in that position. If things have not been necessarily going as well as you thought they could, um, as far as sales and operations go, then you want to be very strategic with what kind of deals you want to offer and how they're going to improve your business. Um, for example, if you have a product that you that hasn't been selling well um after a while you might want to consider other ways of trying to push that product such as having a, de a deal or a special um for that product but you wouldn't want to go and necessarily have a sale on the whole website or you wouldn't necessarily want to go and have a sale for another product while this product is still, you know, trying to get, I guess, some exposure. But um, you just want to be strategic with what kind of sales you're offering. Um, you want to consider what it's going to do for the, the whole of the business. So... Um, and oh yeah, and then for e-commerce businesses, you want to, like sometimes you want to, especially when you have a lot of products coming in, you want to maybe get rid of some products to make room for a new shipment. So like you have to consider the timing of when you're having a sale as well. Um, like actually you probably don't even want to have a sale on every holiday now. From a marketing aspect, um, there are a lot of people in this generation that probably don't even celebrate holidays. You know, a lot of people 
just don't do that kind of stuff anymore. So you're not really enticing them by having a bunch of sales every holiday. That just depends though. It depends on what kind of market you're going for. But um, I know for a ratchet nerd group with the target audience that I'm trying to appeal to, it really wouldn't matter to try to have a sale on every holiday. Um, now, um, you also wanna consider that maybe um, you can extend a sale for trying to get new customers in, trying to attract new customers. Um, or if you're trying to appeal to a new audience or a different audience and you, you know, kind of want to entice them. But this is not something that you want to do all the time. At this point, um, which leads me really into the, to the, I guess, reasons you should hold off on having deals or specials um you know whenever you start to extend too many sales and things of that nature it starts to kind of like give your brand a reputation and people are going to start to expect this now um like this is it could actually hurt you in the long run and even then when you run the numbers it, you may not even still be making that much of a profit for um you know for what you're getting for the products or the service so um the reason that you i guess the reason that it could hurt you in the long run is because you might have people that were only coming to you for the sales or for that price for that deal and then whenever the sale or the deal is over they just stop coming back to you and honestly i think it's wise to value your the longevity with your clients and your customers you want people to keep coming back you want people to always come back to you you never just want them to just get one thing and then be done like so you want to make sure that you you're you're going for the audience that you want to maintain you know um now whenever um Oh, and then, you know, I had an example, but I pretty much did go in depth with it. But um, you can kind of, it's kind of like training your your audience to expect you to have a sale and everything. And then, you know, at this point, you can bounce back from it. But, you know, at that point, you would have to start trying to appeal to a new audience. And that would kind of take a rebranding, maybe not externally, but internally a rebranding that's going to start to to bring in that other market um the market that you want now for when you do want to have a sale though and when it is appropriate time to offer a deal you want to make sure that it's different kinds of sales and deals you know there are ways that you can get the best out of the deal i mean well that they can get the best out of the deal and you can get the best out of the deal without having to give up too much and then um on top of that you just want to make sure they're actually getting value from it like i can't stand seeing just like sales that aren't even really a sale like what are you doing it's annoying it's kind of maybe it's just me though but um now whenever you are a service-based brand like i did say before you just want to be careful with having too many sales because your it takes a lot more physical labor for your work and it takes a lot more of your time which is super super important and you'll never get that back you want to make sure that you you're definitely getting your worth for service-based businesses, you want to make sure that sale is worth the while because, you know, it takes a lot of energy. Um, and then I would just say, like, you want to get to the root of why you want to offer these discounts. Um, and this is for everybody, not just service-based businesses. You want to get to the root of why you're offering these, these, these discounts because that's what's going to help you to be able to decide what kind of special or what kind of deal that you're going to offer um you know personally there are two major reasons that i think um you should not use to to determine 
what your special is going to be or you know when or how or why you do a special um one to compete with other brands do not do that and um when you want when you're trying to get people to notice your brand i don't think that's a good idea now um before i did say that um what what did i say it was as far as getting new kind of like getting the attention of a new client base or um something of the sort you still definitely could implement that whenever necessary but overall whenever you're just having sales right out the bat because you feel like that's what's going to help you gain exposure i don't recommend new businesses having sales like that because like i said that's what sets your reputation you started off having sales like that and then people expect those kind of prices every time um so you definitely i wouldn't recommend it you can do it but i just wouldn't recommend it and i made that mistake before too um so um now you know it just you can eliminate a lot of issues just knowing the value of your brand and standing on that because um you just you just don't have to you don't have to have sales to get exposure that's that sales are more of a strategic thing for the finances whenever you're just getting started you don't even need to be thinking about that in my opinion in my opinion but um yeah, that's pretty much the gist of everything tonight. If if anybody wanted to talk a little bit more about it or had any questions or needed any suggestions, then, you know, you can always just hit me up between the hours of 8 and 8. I will be responding. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great end of your week. And um, make sure that you're checking back for more update, updates. Oh, and do not forget to subscribe to our email list subscribe to our youtube i will drop a link to everything um but yeah have a great weekend